Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Peter all the way from South Africa. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning savvy, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence once again. Your love and your presence is highly appreciated over here. Oh, I missed saying that. I missed you guys. I missed my channel. I miss sitting in front of the camera and having my lights on. And I miss seeing myself on my screen. I mean, it's not even... It, it has been just a couple of days, but it feels like I was gone for months and months and months because I love what I do. So, and thank you so much to each and every one of you who wished me well when I was not feeling well. I am feeling much better at the moment. I did take each and every advices from you on your vitamin C's and whatever. On all of those things, I did take them into consideration and I was doing some of them, obviously. Because I wanted to get better, but I am feeling super, super, super better at the moment. I can't name you, I can't name each and every one of you because you guys just give me so much love that it will be unfair for me to just sit here and call out three people, whereas I've got 3,700 people that have just been amazing for, um, to me. But anyway, this video is not about us having that chit chat intimacy chit chat and all of those things it is about me giving you my top five and two dark horses that i see for miss south africa 2022 it is that time of the year it is miss south africa season almost the finale actually so we need to talk about my pre prelims um top five and on my top five i've got also extra two ladies that I also see them cracking through the top five. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Oh guys, before we get into today's video, I just want to say my voice is going back to my normal voice and I feel so strange. I don't like it because um, when I was still sick, and um, had a very heavy chest and um, all of those things, congestion and whatever. My voice, I found my voice to be so sexy, so deep, so creamy and so rustic and it had just the right tones in it. But anyway, I'll start um, with my number five until my number one and I will make my small um, my small views on the on each and every candidate. So my first person to crack through the top five on my number five, I've got Pel Ntehi. Um, Pel Ntehi is a goddess when it comes to speaking and she's, she has grown so well into the woman that I've, um, the woman that I think she thinks she is. Let me put it that way. She is a very intelligent individual and um, you can just listen to her when she speaks because she speaks so well and um, she's got that Miss Universe, Miss World touch. So um, if she wins Miss South Africa, she would do really well at Miss, Miss World because she has like Miss World power woman sort of. The only thing that I don't really like about her, I, I love the fact that um, her styling has changed from the first time that I saw her until now. It has changed completely. And um, I don't want to lie, I've never seen her um, doing like walks and how the technique is coming along now or, or all of those things. But um, so far so good. When it comes to her speaking skills, I'm not going to be even saying much about it. It has been good since from the word go. She is an eloquent speaker. And um, the only thing that I don't like, as I said, I don't like her earrings. They always choose these earrings that makes her look so old. And guys, I know earrings have, has no, they have nothing to do with beauty pageants, but when it comes to styling, earrings, when it comes to earrings actually, it can change, it can make or break an outfit. So I wish they can go fun, they can be fun when it comes to her earrings so that we can be able to have something to look at as well that oh wow 
there's these beautiful earrings that she has I know it's something so petty something so small when it comes to earrings I don't know why am I talking about it right now but it is something that bores me when it comes to her styling because earrings are so important if you are in the fashion industry you don't just put any earrings because earrings can just change you completely that's what I, I feel when it comes to her when I see her earrings I just don't want to listen to what she's saying because it completely makes her look old even if she's so young anyway um, my number four goes to Davino Kerry. Davino Kerry can easily take Miss South Africa crown because she is one of those ladies that are just all rounder. If you remember correctly, she was one of the people that were technically, when it comes to walking, she was very, very good. She was not like the best, like she was not like um, the Americas when it comes to walking, the, the Latinas. Let me say this. so the latin she was not like that but she was fair especially when it comes to miss south africa because we have seen so many times that miss south africa doesn't really necessarily um focuses on on technical aspects of things when it comes to stage um when it comes to walking and all of those things you can have a stage presence but they don't really make it a point that you are technically good when it when it comes to walking so we have seen that so she was really good and she is a very eloquent speaker she's beautiful she can easily go to each and every one of these three major um beauty pages <laughs> she can still go to each and every one of these three major beauty pageants that we have under the miss south africa licensing so i'm um, like miss supra or miss world or Miss Universe, but I would like to see her doing Miss Supra or Miss Universe. You know what, guys? I really don't like Miss World. Miss World, I've never really invested my time to watch Miss World or do something with Miss World or even have commenta commentary when it comes to Miss World because I find it so boring. I find it so tame. I find it so 1950 type of thing. So um, that's my take. But I see her doing all of those things. My number three goes to Lebokha Mahlangu. Lebokha Mahlangu strikes me as a very, very down-to-earth woman. She is that woman that is a bit shy, but um, as well, she's a, a bit um, smart and a bit um, lovely to be around her. I, from the beginning, when I said to, um, I think on one of my videos, I said that she is, she lacks personality she doesn't have personality but with all the, the 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 videos and all of those things that miss south africa is giving us i feel like i have seen enough of her i've seen enough of her and i love what i see um she is a very eloquent speaker as well she's a very she's a deep thinker she is fun and a very funny person in a very very classy way but um you would have to get to know her in order for you to really see that she is a very funny person but um, i see also i see her taking the miss south africa crown this year we know you know that she's coming back and she was in the top five before i'm not placing her in within that top five because she was in the top five before i'm just placing her that she is deserving to be there because i can see that she worked really really hard if you take lebukha mashangu from way back when she made it to the top five to Lebuka Masang right now, I'm telling you guys that she has improved a lot. So I'm not gonna lie to you and say no, I just put her there because she, she was there before and whatever. No, she is she has improved and she I can see the change, I can see why she wanted to come back because she she really is hungry to get the crown. My Number two goes to Ayanda Tabete. Ayanda Tabete is one of those ladies that when she comes in, she just lights up the room. She's got this pure, beautiful, young youth smile. The smile that would work really, really well for her. And when it comes to going to a, an international pageant, she is just a breath of fresh air. She's that woman that you want to sit next to them because you just want to forget about your problems. She is just 
everything she's an eloquent speaker and she's she was not she was also not bad when it comes to her walking technique so if she improved from what i saw before she is going to be a killer performer on that stage because i'm not talking about her speaking skills because she can speak you know someone said south africa is the brain of the beauty pageant and i can see that she, um, south africa is the brain because all of these 10 women that we have they are very good when it comes to speaking they are very clever they're very smart they're very eloquent they are very they're just a breath of fresh air okay my number one goes to goes to times and jack oh my god times and jack is it, she has improved and she's very serious about miss south africa i would definitely give her the crown even if i'm giving her a crown on my actual um pre prelims leaderboard but i'm telling you guys if you you've seen times and jack when she entered the competition and when she moved over to the top 30 and top 10 times and jack was so insecure or she was very there she lacked self-confidence she had a very messed up self-confidence and um it was so sad for me because she's so beautiful and she looks like a very sweet girl the one that if you went to varsity with uh, she's the one that will take care of you guys because you went out drinking and she's just that very lovely person so i'm trying to say when you look at her then and you look at her now you can see that terms and jack is here to win it and i can see that we are looking at the miss south africa 2022 when i look at terms and jack she can walk now she can speak properly and she can really capture you when she speaks um she she had at the beginning of the competition i didn't want to listen to her talking because i was like oh my god and when she was walking at the beginning of the competition competition i was like oh god it, this is going to be a disaster because you cannot speak properly you cannot walk and um your your actual um stage present is non-existing and because your self-confidence is so low and it, you, we can tell so from then i think she took all the notes and she made sure that she is coming back and she is going to win it and that's about it guys it is my top five so i've got these two ladies i think they might surprise us during the coronation night i've got itumeling baraka we all know that she's a very good speaker and um she's not bad on stage as well she is she was one of the worst ones but um i feel like she has improved very well and she's beautiful and lastly i've got anna zaid omar anna zaid omar is one of the ladies that also she has improved so much and um, for the fact that she came back over and over to, to enter Miss South Africa, I really, really have respect for that lady. And um, the transformation from the Anazi that entered for the first time and the transformation from then till now, I feel like we, we can really see that Miss South Africa is doing really well with these girls, empowering them, giving them the platform, giving them the, the confidence and giving them every little things that they can use even if they don't have a crown but i also see her taking the crown and i would l love to see her doing the miss world or miss supra so that's about it guys this is it this is my pre prelims um predictions and um on thursday i will be dropping my final prediction for this year for miss south africa and um after the prelims um obviously the prelims are not the same and extravagant and, and all of that it's just a prelim um interviews and stuff like that so it, it's not really something that we'll see um but we might see the snippets just like we saw last year so and that's about it if you're not subscribed please do subscribe and now i've got a joining button if you would like to to actually um help the channel with any amount that you have it starts from um 19 rands you can convert convert the 19 rands into your um country's currency but um also i think i will make a, a separate video about explaining all that and explaining um how do i like it how how what is it that i'm gonna be posting privately 
out exclusively and all of those things so um i will definitely do a, a separate video for that but please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can see videos like this reaction and all of those things and thank you so much guys have a fantastic one i love you so much